Hey guys, it's James. Just wanted to wish you a happy Veterans Day. I haven't been in the military, but I have been in military school for three years. And the one thing I've learned in the military school and also the things I've learned from uh, counseling clients that I've had that were veterans and also veteran friends and family, the one thing that they do have is discipline. And that's very important in the military as well as accomplishing your goals as it pertains to money and finance. And I just wanted to take you know a couple minutes of your time and just talk about discipline and why it's important and, and the way that we could uh, kind of strengthen our discipline to accomplish those goals. So the one thing I really think that we can do to kind of build up our disciplined muscles is by um, having the goal that you have and also having a feeling towards that goal. So what I mean is just having the plan, so knowing what it is that you want to do, so that goal, but then also how does it feel uh, for you to have that goal? So let's say that you have a house or you want to get a home and I would recommend that you would just try to acknowledge or just feel like how would it feel like what what's the feeling that you get when that key is placed in your hand saying congratulations this is your home what are the looks on your children's faces when you get the home or the spouse or, or your grandparents whoever it is that's going to live with you in the home want you to have that feeling and what that feeling is going to do is going to motivate you and also what it does it helps you to um, whatever sacrifices that you may have to make to get that home to save that money or to um, to try to increase your credit score it's going to make it a lot easier because if I just said hey uh, when we're doing your budget like hey you need to cut out these premium channels and so, you know, you'd be like, all right, yeah, I can, but I'm not going to do it because I want those premium channels. I like my HBO. I like Game of Thrones. But if I'm like, hey, you really want this house? I can see you getting this house. But if you if you can cut this out and then put the money that you would be paying towards your cable bill into your savings, you can get that house a lot faster. Which way would you rather... You know, would you be more motivated to, you know, cut that expense so that you can save? So really having the goal, having that set vision and knowing the feeling, uh, I think that will really help. Another way, too, as well, is just knowing how you tick. And the way I mean by that is, you, you know, if you don't have discipline, if you do have discipline or you don't have discipline, you pretty much know. And you pretty much know the reasoning behind it. Are you a procrastinator? Do you like to shop and get the brand name clothes or, you know, the, the really expensive car? Where that means you have to pay a very high monthly bill. Um, or you like to go to Starbucks every day. Uh, whatever it is, uh, you really need to, you know, really have some introspection and find out what it is that is kind of messing you up and then figure out different hacks in which you can kind of fix it so let's say that you are the starbucks guy or girl who goes and buys seven dollars a month or seven dollars a day i don't know how much it is i don't drink coffee but you know you're expending it what if you're able to just make your own coffee at home or take the office coffee I don't know how that usually is, but I mean, it'd be a lot cheaper. Or why don't you bring your lunch to work? And that money that you would be using to usually go out and spend, you know, for on, on I don't know, Chinese food for lunch, uh, could be going to a savings where you can get, um, which will help you to accomplish your goal a lot faster than it would if you kept on spending your money on things of that nature. So just finding out little hacks and then also just doing it for a day in and day out. I believe they say that if you do something for 28 days, then it becomes a habit. So just trying to 
uh, perfect yourself each day to doing the best that you can do. And of course, we always fall off the wagon, um, but it's not about you falling off the wagon. It's about you picking yourself up, dusting that dirt off, and then getting back on that horse after you fall off that's going to make you um, accomplish that goal that you set. So um, making sure that you have a goal, have a plan, and a feeling behind that plan, knowing how you take and figuring out different hacks that you do, and then also doing it over a period of time, I believe then will help you to build that discipline. And when you build that discipline, you're going to accomplish that goal. So I wish you all, um, as I said, a happy Veterans Day, and, uh, and I wish you guys a great weekend, and uh, let's build that discipline muscle.